So this week's Hell Let Loose Dev Briefing was actually a community Q&A where they answered a ton of questions on what's coming soon in the game. And look, there was a ton of info in this one, but in this video, I just want to break down the main points for you. So guys, this is Billy Eat World again, and here's 14 new features coming soon to Hell Let Loose. All right, so to kick off, probably the most important news in this briefing is that the dev team are about 75 to 85% finished on the new animations overhaul. And if you haven't already heard about this, well, basically what they're doing is using mocap technology to make animations more realistic, and apparently it'll, quote, lift the experience to a triple A level. The reason this is so important is because it needs to be finished before they can start working on other features potentially coming in the future as well, like for example, Free Look. And they're quote, aiming to have this in by early next year at the latest. And this will release alongside first person rendering of your body and limbs, which is the first step towards a Free Look system and a bunch of other things as well. Now, speaking of body and limbs, well, another thing that'll apparently be coming shortly after that's finished is the melee system. And look, we don't have too many details about this just yet, but what the devs have said is that it won't be in the quote, next update, but soon after. Also, just one more animation related thing. Another confirmation we got in this post is that finally the devs are gonna be changing the Garen to be able to reload halfway through a magazine. So that's really good news if you're currently getting annoyed using this gun. But once again, it's another thing that's gonna to have to wait for the animations overhaul to make it into the game. Now, with that being said, it's not just changes to existing content that have been held up by the animations update. Apparently, the release of wheeled and open top vehicles has been as well. And that was also covered in this week's briefing. Apparently, the devs are looking at starting to introduce transport vehicles and that sort of thing by March next year at the very latest. Also in this post, the devs gave us a bit of a clue as to what sort of vehicles will be coming in the future as well. Apparently we're gonna be getting vehicles like Jeeps, half tracks, scout cars, mobile artillery, and more tanks. And we also got some clues, which we'll talk about in just a sec, about how these could be deployed. So what am I talking about here? Well, in this post, the devs also gave us a heads up on some new commander abilities that are coming, like for example, the ability to spawn vehicles where they don't naturally spawn. And we don't have a solid release date on this just yet, but they're also apparently gonna be getting a ton of other abilities like reconnaissance planes, naval and rocket barrages, and even airdropped temporary outposts. That's also not the only buff to the commander role either. It looks like pretty soon the commander will be able to place markers and not just that, but the area of effect of commander abilities will also eventually be visible on the map as well, which will be really useful so you don't get accidentally killed by friendly artillery. Now moving on, probably the most exciting thing we learnt about in this week's briefing is that when the game leaves early access next year, we'll finally be getting the Soviet faction along with at least three new Eastern Front maps. And apparently we quote, can expect the full Russian forces in the same breadth of content as the current German and US forces. So in other words, that means uniforms, weapons, vehicles, and that sort of thing. Not just that, but another question the devs answered in this briefing was about the British faction, and the devs did confirm that they'll also be coming to the game eventually as well. And they said they'll, quote, most likely implement the British after the Eastern Front, as they'll need specific maps and theatres of their own. But anyway, just to quickly finish up, here's a couple more features coming to the game that have been confirmed, but we don't have a lot of information on yet. Like for example, the fact that airborne skins are apparently coming to the game. The devs are gonna be adding them for both the US and German teams, and maybe even for the other factions later on next year. And just on a side note, and this isn't confirmed yet, but the devs are also looking at adding paradrops as an insertion method as well. 
also. And like I said before, we've got basically no info on this sort of stuff just yet. But the devs also confirmed in this post that they'll be, quote, adding night maps for many existing maps. And I think I remember seeing something in a previous briefing about weather becoming a random modifier as well. So I'm wondering whether the night mode will be fixed or something that could potentially change randomly over the course of a round. Here's another thing, apparently the devs are also working on the VoIP system at the moment to give us more individual control over levels depending on where the transmissions are coming from. And once again, we don't really have a lot of information on this yet or when it's going to be coming, apart from the fact they're apparently limited by the current Vivox system and they might need to scrap that to move forward. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about in this video is the devs have also confirmed they're going to be adding more deployable defenses into the game as well. Quote, this is a very undeveloped area at the moment. Prepare for significant deployable defenses such as pillboxes, concrete AT positions and more, as well as MG nests and heavy weapons locations. But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up this quick update video. So as always, make sure you let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And just remember that I always post a link to the full dev briefing in the description down below. So please check that out if you want some more information. There's a ton of stuff in there that we didn't talk about in this video. As always, though, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And please feel free to check out the links in the description if you want any more of these videos. And also don't forget you can find my Twitter and Discord links down there as well if you want to keep in touch. And as always, until next time, see you later and have a good one.